All right, welcome everyone. I'm so glad to be back and be able to do a little YouTube video here. <clears throat> I've been a little sick um, for a few weeks now at least. I had bronchitis and I'm definitely on the mend. So uh, I'm back with a actually quick stamping technique, but of course you can use this um, in your art journal, in your mini book, in any type, cards, whatever you want um, going on. So really quick, a background behind this. Uh, I was watching Laurel Devinney, who is Scotia9338, over here on YouTube, um, do a Ustream show today. And uh, what she was doing was using <clears throat> her embossing folders and wax paper and doing the old school wax paper resist technique. So check out her channel and her Ustream um, the link will be below for that technique. And during it, I asked, "Well, what if you, what if you did this?" And she graciously uh, tried it for me. And since then, I've been playing with the same technique. So that's that's a little bit of background behind uh, how this technique came up. Um, I think I'm going to call it. It's hard to think of hard to call it. Right? I think I'm going to be calling it uh, wax paper, oh, wax paper embossing folder folder technique. So what you're going to need is, is some embossing folders. This happens to be a Tim Holtz one. A um, <clears throat> little piece of wax paper that I just ripped down to size. And you got to pretend that this is glossy cardstock. So as you know, glossy cardstock is, is shiny. It's glossy. And, and that's it. So in your machine, of course. <clears throat> so we're going to pretend that this is glossy cardstock. All you're going to do is lay your wax paper on top of the cardstock. Put it into your embossing folder. Make sure it says the name is on the top, and then you'll know that that's the right way that it goes. Put both of them in there together at the same time. Feed it through your machine. What you're going to get when it comes out is going to look like this. So you see how the wax paper is really stuck down, you know, really, uh, let's say, one with the glossy paper. Remember, glossy side up, wax paper down. So I'm going to take my little um, craft iron here. This happens to be one I bought at a club scrap retreat many years ago um, when Tim Holtz taught. I think it was somewhere in 2003. So I've had this travel iron for a long time. Uh, I don't think it has a name on it. Clover. It's a clover travel iron. So what I'm going to do, and I have it just under cotton. I think you have to test. You want a higher heat, but I think you have to test your irons depending on what kind you have. Because um, I had it on the highest setting on cotton, and yeah, it was hot. So all you're going to do is just melt it. So just swipe your iron across. If you have an extra uh, hot one like this, you don't have to do it too many times. And what you'll see, you'll be able to see that the glossy cardstock changes a little bit. You may think, oh, it's burning, but it's not. It's just the wax transferring. So, <clears throat> the longer that you put your iron on it, the more wax it's going to come off. So, maybe hold this up to the camera. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can see that there's it's a little bit darker in some spots. My lighting's a little funny. So, all we're going to do is, is take that off. And you can save this coolness for something, something else. I'll have to think up of... <laughs> for something like that. So here I got, this is the cloth base, Tim Holtz. Um, I've done it in quite a few of his texture fades. I love how it's so deeply embossed. So I took out some dusty Concord and Stormy Sky. Just because I wanted to do something bright for you guys. And I'm so terrible. I never change the colors on my <clears throat> on my thing. But if you guys are purists, uh, definitely go nuts. <laughs> Use the right color. I like how everything blends together. So I'm just going to take my tool, and I know you guys, because it's glossy, it's going to be hard to see um, until I hold it up. You can also mist it, uh, although, you know, you'll have to rub the mist in because it will literally resist. So I'm using a little bit of the... a little bit of the stormy sky. See how I was using a... you'll probably see a little bit of brown there. A little bit of stormy sky, and because we're using glossy cardstock, the distress inks really kind of blend around. I think I'll use my darker one. I kind of have two. I use one for lights and one's for darks. This is dusty Concord. Um, it really, because it's glossy cardstock, not regular cardstock, 
it will really blend around the page a lot better because it kind of sits on top, right? It doesn't soak in. So depending on how dark you want it, you can just keep on, keep on going. So it's really almost a, a double distress type of look. I'm just going to take direct to paper just to get the top parts of some of these clocks uh, with my ink pad. It's almost a double distress because, you know, the texture fades really distressed. And then on top of it, you're putting um, the wax. So the wax paper, that's, excuse my nails. That's terrible. I was, can you tell I was using some blue paint yesterday? <laughs> um, last night at my show, thanks so much, everyone, that, that was able to be there. I really appreciate it when you guys come to my Ustream classes. All right. So you can really see where the resist happens you know, right there. Again, it all depends on how much you you uh, hold your iron down on it. And then you can just take a little bit of little bit of a paper towel here and buff it off, and then you can really see where the wax paper was. So it's a really thin technique. I used it. Sticky note. Here's one on the. Uh, so cool on the wood and I love how it kind of sticks up and it really gets into the bark and just makes it even more cool, even more distressed. Let me buff this guy. So cool on the brick. And lastly I did just a, a very faint one. Maybe I'll buff this one for you guys too. And you can add as many layers of ink. Woo! I don't want to set the place on fire over here. As many layers of ink as, as you want. This is just, I didn't iron it very much, so you really just get the subtle, subtle cracks from, uh, from the wax paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check out Scotia9338. We obviously make a wonderful team. <laughs> um, she's also a wonderful friend. That's it, guys. How fast was that? Hopefully I'm still recording. Wait, let me double check. This could be bad news. Oh, I'm still recording. Seven minutes. <laughs> this is what you get. I did get in a... I bought an iPad, and now I've got a editing app. So, yay for that. And uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Much love, everyone.